In recent years, a number of high-profile figures in British public life have appeared to express support for the practice of Sharia law in this country. But what is Sharia law? And is there a place for Sharia in the UK? Sharia law is a detailed system of religious law developed by Muslim scholars in the first three centuries of Islam. It covers everything from religion, hygiene, dietary laws, to dress code, family and social life, finance and politics. What few realize is that here in the UK, Sharia law is already being practiced and Sharia courts already enjoy some legal recognition. Muslim arbitration tribunals and Sharia councils are adjudicating on civil, commercial and family matters, including contractual disputes, divorce and domestic violence. Some of their rulings are now legally enforceable in Britain. Unfortunately, the use of Sharia law in the UK is not good news. Equality before the law for all, regardless of sex, race or religion, is one of Britain's enduring principles. However, in practice, the Sharia system treats women very differently from men. A woman's evidence counts for half that of a man. Divorce for women is very difficult while being very easy for men. The husband has the right to divorce his wife for any reason by simply pronouncing the divorce three times, whereas the wife must apply to the court for a divorce. Custody of any children passes automatically to the man once the children have attained the age of seven and the mother has no rights of access. In disputes to do with inheritance, a woman is entitled to half the property the man is. In cases of divorce, a woman has no rights to any of the family property. In cases of rape, four male witnesses are needed to substantiate a woman's complaint and only a Muslim male witness's evidence is admissible. These examples contradict key principles of justice, freedom and equality for all before the law. The use of Sharia law is fundamentally inconsistent with the UK's legal framework. Please support the campaign to strengthen the law to protect equality and freedom for all.